Hello guys, how's it going everyone? Can you guys can you guys hear me? It's a little sound check here. Hello everybody. Come hang with us in this stream. Nice. Is the, the sound quality pretty good? Nice, awesome. All right guys. Um good to see everybody here on the live with us today. Um the reason today for the stream is our new update coming soon. And um I'm here with uh, GM Phoenix today. Hello, hello, guys. How are you doing? Long time no talking to you all. How are you guys doing today? Huh? Are you ready for this new update? That's the biggest of the updates. The so, year, right? Yeah, yeah, the biggest of the, the year. Nice one. Okay. Uh, in the moderation today, we have GM Marley. I know you guys love him. And GM Kraken. And, I also uh, see GM Steel here too on the chat with us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, is it? Oh, yeah, hi, yeah, GM nice. Steel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, and we want to introduce you guys to the new GM that just joined the crew. Uh, it's GM Obsidian. Come on, say hi, GM. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Buenos dias. Yo soy GM Obsidian y espero que estén listos para este nuevo contenido. Yo estaré aquí para futuros streams hablando inglés y español para todos ustedes. Hola, ah, yeah. see? A little surprise for you guys. He <laughs> speaks English and speaks Spanish. He's going to be with us in the future Spanish lives. I know you guys asked a lot for uh, Spanish speaker GM, so we got your back. So, yeah, that's some awesome stuff coming your way. Stay Welcome ready. Yeah. yeah. Stay preparado. <laughs> Stay preparados. All right, guys. Um, the reason that we're going to be here today um, is to showcase a little bit of what's coming on this next update. Um, and yeah, it's going to be really awesome. And there's a lot of stuff to cover. So we'll just go slow and nice. And then um, just to let you guys know, this is going to be more like a showcase, you know, um, the updates for you guys to explore, to go in the patch notes, to read, and, you know, don't take anything that you see here like the stats and stuff like that it's more just a showcase for you guys okay yeah remember no gameplay <laughs> here today y'all and one thing to keep in mind too the gms are not streamers so we're trying our best here so yes. please just be patient with us be kind exactly <laughs> i see there's a lot of portuguese on the live well we have another live for br portuguese today um at three so our time, so it's our like time. Seven, yeah so it'll be seven 7 p.m. Yes. 7 p.m. Brazil time. So you guys stay tuned. It's going to be a whole live in Portuguese with me, GM Sky, and GM Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. You guys' favorite. So, yeah, guys. GM Marley's not going to like you just said. <laughs> GM still said, I expect perfection. All right, guys. We'll, we'll definitely try. Perfection isn't it. All right, guys. So it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me show you guys my game here. I have my character. All right, guys, so um, we have some new UIs um, in the game, some new features, some cool stuff that we're going to showcase. Um, the new one that we want to showcase is the new myth level. It's going to be showcased the first. Um, the new myth level is a system higher than the Overlord 100. It's like a continuation of the leveling up in Cabal now. Um, so in order for you to be part of this feature, you need to reach Overlord 100, you know, and a lot of you are already there. And if you're not there, now you have... A little bit of a chance to um, to get there and to get these new um, stats and all these cool features um, so the way that uh, the new myth level works is that um, in order for you to get it like I said you have to be overlord 100 and you have to complete a quest so um, the quest is over here in Port Lux and uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk to the Harper instructor and the name of this quest is beyond the limits so let's just do the quest regular like you guys already know and then after that, we just need to go and talk to the porter. So we're gonna go talk to him. Completing our quest here. All right. So once we talk to the porter, we go back and then we talk with Harper one more time. Boom, boom. And then we're gonna talk one more time. And then you guys are gonna see, once you complete the quest, you get a really cool animation, which means the new, um, Myth level is now going to be applied to your account. Nice. So, all right, boom. You guys see the animation? Not yet. All right. So now we have been rewarded for the quest. We're going to be able to open our myth level with our shift Y. And um, that's pretty much the new interface. Um, I already have a lot of my stuff filled up. You know, I had to test some stuff for you guys, a lot of the stats, but um, 
we're gonna get a little more in depth of this okay um so the way that the myth level works um basically you're gonna get some myth points you know and then the way that you get these myth points is by completing the high level dungeons now um and once you complete those dungeons you're gonna get um myth experience which are going to contribute to your levels and you're going to get myth points in order to fill these slots these slots that you see here on the screen um so pretty much once you guys start your screen's not going to be as complete as mine but you guys kind of have an idea what it looks like it's also cool to showcase kind of like the end goal here so you guys can stay motivated and you know yeah so then um the way that the myth level works you get all these lots with these cool um with the school stats that you're going to re-roll um so right now i have 282 myth points and i'm pretty much um a little bit above grade but you guys are going to start with the first grade which is called seraphin and when you start with that grade you're only going to have one roll available to roll with these slots and uh once you roll a slot i'm going to show you guys how to roll it right now um, you just use your myth points use transformation and you click yes and then you're going to get a new slot basically kind of like that one and you just keep going keep going keep going just to show you guys a couple of the rerolls yeah so basically you guys are going to get a couple of different stats and then you're going to play with that however you like and um once you have completed a couple of these these stats also give you holy power um the way that the holy power works these will open different um different grades for you guys so you guys are going to start with one row kind of like right here you can see my screen this first part and then you're going to open a second one also based on your holy power and then you're going to open your third one also based on holy power and then for the holy power um you guys as much as you as much more as you level up with your holy power you also get these um awesome stats that are called the great information and these are also going to be showcased right under your level now so you see right here on the upper left screen so that's something really cool so as much more um holy power points as you guys get you will start going down here and then you're going to get some awesome stats and it's really cool so you guys should be able to go all the way down and you know something really nice to work for because these stats are super cracked at the end so it's gonna be something nice but yeah um so there's also another part of the myth um the new myth ui um it's the resurrection so basically once you guys get to level 90 um you guys can resurrect you know and then um that way whenever you guys resurrect you can get these memory of fragments i know it's a lot to cover but once you guys start going on your own you guys will understand a little bit better so basically what these fragment of memory do it's like let's say that you roll a slot right and then um the slot is like something that you don't really like and you want to keep you use these uh memory fragments to keep your slot that is right now so let's say like i'm going to re-roll my last one let's say 50 myth points transformation so i got this hp now right and i don't like this and i want to go back to my slot and then i just use my memory fragments to recover yes and then it will go back to what i had before basically you just want to keep doing this until you find something that you like so i got the same one and then i can just close it and then let's say i want to re-roll again and then i got the same one so one more time <laughs> <laughs> yeah see i got hp thing. again i don't want that right let's see let's, this is something that i do not want so then i use my memory fragments to recover it and then basically keep the one that i want so Whenever you guys want a new stat, you basically don't need to use your memory fragments. But once you want to keep yours that you had, let's say you had something better, then you can, you know, um, keep those. Uh, let's see what people are saying on the chat. So let's the see. more fragments, the better, right? <laughs> yeah, the more fragments, the better. So you want to resurrect. That's the whole point of this. Cool. They're basically like hating on the Brazilian players right now. I don't know why. but There's some beef going on in the chat right now. Beef. No, no beef. Um, so basically uh where you get these fragments you get these fragments by resurrecting so every time that you resurrect you get an amount of fragments um if you guys want to check out more about like the specifics of this you can guys go on the patch notes there's a lot of information there you can read and um it's pretty explained you know and then once you put the video together and this 
you guys are going to see that it makes a lot of sense and it's also something for you guys to explore you yes. know um this is just a little bit of showcase of the new ui and the new stats but you guys are going to be able to explore and see what you guys like if we tell you guys everything that's going to happen it's not going to be as fun right so go out there and figure it out yeah. like and have some fun that's it some uh, some of you asked if we're going to leave the void on the twitch we probably will i said void right? the <laughs> vod <laughs> the vod on no twitch uh probably we're gonna decide uh it's gonna be either here on no twitch or maybe on youtube right? yeah let's figure yeah. It out. yeah check it out um and then um i saw a comment on the chat saying can you guys tell which event type we get with the event um we can't tell you guys which event type it will be but 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 i can tell you something you guys are gonna enjoy that one. exactly okay you guys we were you guys are very vocal about the easter event we heard a lot of um different perspectives and with this update um it's something very special it's a double update um it's a lot of information it's going to be really cool things to do so we want to bring a really cool event that you guys are going to like so you guys better get ready because there's going to be a lot of content coming your way so gonna save some time for lunch and go to the bathroom but that's pretty much it <laughs> just play cabal the whole day yes you're gonna <laughs> keep you guys busy that's for sure yeah exactly all right, um, so pretty much this is the new Myth UI. I know it's a lot of info really quick. I'm just gonna go, just scroll through my through my stats here so you guys can see. Um, I know it's a lot of information, but um, once the update's live, you guys are gonna be able to you know, enjoy this and check it out. All right, and then now moving on from the Myth um, UI, we also have a new redesigned uh, wing UI. It's something really cool. The wings really needed some love and um, they were actually redesigned. So that's something that looks really cool. I'm going to show you guys right now. All right. So this is the new wing UI right here. Um, that looks fire. I know it looks really good, right? I really like the new. Exactly. Yeah, the whole the whole thing just adds up and, you know, the wing was a little bit more. It was a, a lot different. This yeah. one looks a lot better. Yeah, great upgrade. Yeah, I like yeah. that yeah so um so yeah guys so this is a new wing ui um basically there's a new skill that was added to complement this wing ui and right now your maxed out wing is going to be the grade unique and level 100 so whenever you have the three grades available normal wear and unique you're going to have these three um slots available so this is the normal slot all right and then this is the uh, rare slot and then this is gonna be the unique slot okay what's unique about this update is that the the new skill for the wing um, is actually very useful and it's gonna be a really good skill that's gonna help you guys a lot um, before we had oh sorry I was messing with the dances here so it's a little bit down before we have a we had a wing assault wing protects and we had a movement buff but now the movement buff has been removed and now we have the descent retribution um buff okay. and this is something really nice it's going to be very useful like i said and um it's just going to be useful in whatever you guys do with the new dungeons it's just like a really good buff um so let's say um be like oh how how does the new skill works basically um once you start you guys are going to have a pretty much blank uh new wing ui and the skill also comes blank right um right now you don't have any of the stats to the buff applied and then the way that you get these stats it's by rolling in your rare unique and your normal slot so let's say right here i'm gonna have my normal slot i'm gonna have my rare and i'm gonna have my unique okay and then each of these they contain a, li a list of slots okay and um every time that you roll you're gonna get two slots so that's something to keep in mind you guys are gonna keep re-rolling and whenever you have a stat like i'll show you guys next it will apply to your new buff skill okay so let's start with our normal here okay so i'm gonna use um ss of ring rare you also need these to apply the stats so that's something that you guys want to keep in mind all right so then let's see i got add damage and absorb damage okay and then that will change so these are my new stats okay and then these stats now add damage and absorb damage these are going to be in my new in my new skill okay these are going to be showcasing right there you guys can see and then if you guys want to reroll and just keep going until you find whatever you like um and also a cool feature 
is that if you like a stat that you don't like, you can also keep it. Um, the previous one that you had for 10 force gems. So that's something to keep in mind. Oh, that's pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you got like two chance basically in that situation there, right? Yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. I mean, it's like you get new stats. It's like you don't like it. You yeah, spend a little bit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always want to try for more, but you can always go back to her. So let's say I'm going to change mine, okay? And then these are also, they're going to switch out in my new buff. So I'm just going to try it. Free roll here. I didn't get anything. Keep going. I'll just stick with this one. I'll attack up and HP absorb up. And then this is going to be on my on my buff skill retribution and then i'm just going to do that to the other ones and basically you get two stats from all the stats on the list so let's apply here boom change apply change apply let's see if we can get something nice here and, and there's only five s's of wings so it's not that costly so you guys can keep rolling and rolling see. all right let's stay with this one so then now since i already did two slots of my wing i will have i will have four basic stats now applied to my buff and whenever you do the last one that will also be applied to your buff so you guys see kind of like how it works so let's say i keep rolling okay so now i got all of my buffs or sorry i got all of my um i got all of my slots figured out i already rolled with my SS of wings. So now these slots are gonna contribute to my to my retribution buff skill. So that's basically the idea. You know, the the buff skill is what um, matters a lot. And then you guys want to just keep re-rolling so you can get that. And um, this buff uh, you can use, and then it will be available for 15 seconds. So that's a long time to do some damage. You know, and then after that, it's gonna be a five minutes cooldown. It's a long time cooldown because it's a pretty, you know, pretty strong buff. So you guys kind of get the idea. And um, that's something that you can do. Uh, something really nice is that you can register this skill to your quick slot. So it will actually work as a buff. So you guys can see here, it's on my quick slot. So it's something really, you know, um, to keep in mind, you know. And then once something is really cool also is when you click the skill, you will get a cool animation so oh, whenever okay. yeah yeah so whenever you use the buff you know people will know that you used it that you're uh -huh. pretty strong they're gonna run away and also you're gonna want to you know do some yeah, damage yeah, yeah. while like that's that. active yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The so cool kid just arrived yeah, exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah so this is a really uh cool feature um of the wing um and in order for you to use this too one thing to keep in mind is that you need force essence in order for you to use the buff skill so just keep that in mind um now moving on to the next part wait 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 but how do you unlock the other ones which ones there's three on the right side oh they're not available yet <laughs> we got you got to sit tight a little bit um these will come in the future we don't know when we don't know you know um there's but some talk out there but you know it's it's hidden for now but you guys get the idea you know when those are available um they're gonna be more stats and then your buff is gonna be even more powerful but we're gonna keep that to the end. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wormy said uh, fourth at Epic Wing, episode 34, fifth and sixth in the future. We'll see. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. You guys get the idea of this new uh, buff skill and how it works. Your slots contribute to your new buff skill, which can be used for 15 seconds. So that's something really cool and really useful. Do you have anything to add? No, no, no. Any comments that you see? Any cool no, comments? No, I just really love the the new design of the wing and also like the feature, little feature when you apply the buff. It's yes. pretty cool. Yeah. I'm yeah. Just following the chat because <laughs> everyone is like really like asking lots of questions. Yeah, yeah. If you guys have any, if you guys have any quick questions that you want to ask, you're more than welcome to come on the on the chat and then just you know type it out. So that'll be we're gonna read them and then if we. If we know how to respond and if we you know yeah just keep in mind guys that we're not gonna offer any information about gameplay that's yeah. on you guys yeah, right yeah. <laughs> what's, exactly so whatever we can whatever we can reply about we will um yeah and then if you guys think that the stream is just to showcase the uis it's not just that so you guys probably want to sit tight there's a lot of cool stuff coming so um yeah like if you guys you know are here hey these guys are just talking and talking no it's gonna be some Really nice stuff coming your way. So, uh, somebody asked here in the chat uh, when the update's gonna be available. Guess what, guys? Tomorrow after the 
Nice. Exactly. So yeah. if you guys want to stay tuned for that, um, you know, you guys will be able to play pretty soon here. So yeah, that's something cool to keep in mind. All right, guys, moving on to the to the other part. Um, we have two parts here, the new wing UI, the normal, which I already showed, and then the training part. This one is super simple. It's basically if you have your maxed out wing, you get a certain amount of points. So the number of points is 650 if you have the maxed out wing right now. And basically what these points do is that they apply stats now to your character. And then the way that these work is just basically you just go around and you kind of like choose whichever you like, which I'll showcase. But you can see that each slot here has different types of um, stats. So this is something really cool to talk about. And um, one thing is really awesome as well is that you can uh, work with your presets. The presets here, you have one through five. And these can also be added to your quick slot. And these can kind of be like, hey, I want to go to war. I'm going to have these stats. Hey, I'm going to do dungeons today. I'm going to have these stats. And then you guys can work with these. Whenever you guys want a new preset, it's 100 force gems. It does cost to um, set up these new presets. But yeah, this is a really cool feature. It's kind of like you can just kind of like switch really quick. You don't really have to be, you know, re-rolling everything. So I'm going to show you guys how you roll these stats. So basically right now we have um, we have three available um, four swing levels, let's say. And right now you have three levels of stats because that's based on the number of four swings that we have available right now. In the future, it could be six stats, but right now we only have three to roll. So the way that this works, you just select this stat that you want and it will show you the max level, the stats, and basically everything that you want. And it will also show you the value um, of training points that it requires for you to train that skill. So let's say that I want to use this skill and I want to give it a couple of levels. So I'm going to level three and then that is going to cost me 150 points. So that's something to keep in mind as well. If you guys want to focus like on one skill, let's say like if you guys want to focus on these two skills and just cost your points on like four or six skills, that's like your main goal for cabal you can also do that but one thing also is that you can complete all of them kind of just like let's say you want a little bit of stats here and then a little bit of stats here as well kind of just kind of like filling it up like the gaps like you don't want to use a lot of your training points you just add a bunch of them see but like i said if you guys want to focus let's say like if you know you're character is focused on pvp or your character is focused on pve um you can use all your training points on whatever skills that are available so let's say you want to use right now you want to use 150 points on this one and you want to leave the other ones empty and then you also want to use the 107 points here so i have 47 points left i can you know use the other slots kind of go around five points let's see Kind of distribute what i have left and mind guys these are not real stats i'm just you know rolling through the stream like i'm not even you know doing any be strategic yeah exactly like strategic that. for it exactly so apply my nine points now i have 14 all my slots are currently filled up and one thing is really cool as well you guys can also switch the levels of if you guys still have more training points you want to switch levels and stuff like that and um, one thing to keep in mind that it's a really cool mechanics here is that let's say right now we have this skill at level three, right? And you want to use this skill. You're going to need to use your training points one more time, but um, you guys can switch between them. You see? Like you're able to kind of like quickly switch between your skills. You don't really have to be training over and over again. Yeah. So um, with these new slots, you guys are going to get your stats here on the left. As you guys can see, these are really cool stats that are going to be applied to your character. So it's something really cool. I really like these. Is they keep it very simple. Yeah. So it's going to be something nice. Important. Yep. Okay. Uh, I just want to make like a, a little, um, let you guys know about the update. Okay. Mr. Wormy just said that tomorrow might be confusing for people who... <laughs> from EU, from Europe. So yeah, you're right, Mr. Wormy. So the official date for the update is tomorrow, <laughs> May 17th. Okay, so I think it's, it's still today for Europe, right? So tomorrow, technically, 
Yeah, words. it's hard for us to keep up with the times. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, North America, it's Europe, like completely Brazil. different. Brazil in completely different like time zones, guys. Like bear with us here, yeah, come yeah. on. But while James Guy take a little bit of a break. Let me remind you guys that we do have like some sales going on right now on our website. You guys bagged on Instagram, on Facebook, and all our social medias to bring the eCoins refill, the 10% for everyone. Oh, that's really good. You get a bonus just for refilling. That's awesome. Yeah, 10% for any amount that you decided to buy. Also, we have the first gem pack of 500 gems available for you guys too. Oh, that's new, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it just started like a few days ago until today. Today's the very last day. So if I were you, I would hurry up. And not forget, I don't want to forget, not least, uh, the um, last but not least, <laughs> uh, the war bundle. So bundle up and it's available until tomorrow, May 17th and eCoins refill until uh that's may 24th if i'm not mistaken yes so hurry up and go grab yours and just one more note for you guys we have been posting information and posts like anything about cabal on our instagram page uh we slowly uh updating you guys of everything that's happening on Nevereth over there so go check it out just go find our official page cabalonline.br cabalonline.na uh right now we have eu and latino pages available but soon they're gonna we're just gonna be focusing on the na so if you want to join if you want to follow us there don't don't worry it's our official page okay i hope you guys are enjoying this update information because it is a lot but <laughs> it is fun yeah guys so yeah if you guys want more info about you know the update or new events or you know just want to talk uh our instagram it's a great way for us, you to follow and kind of stay up what we have going on we post sales we post um let's say like new update content and everything and another way also is for you to join our discord um that way you guys can interact with our moderators you can also talk with our influencers and um we post whenever we have sales as well we post when there's um updates we post our live streams and there's a lot of conversation about cabal going so if you guys are you know kind of let's say oh i don't really understand this part you can yeah. go there chat with everybody everybody's so helpful so nice and they can help you out so yeah it's something. a huge crew in there so like if you're a beginner and you don't know any like how to anything works <laughs> basically <laughs> you're just like starting the game again or just coming back after so long and you're not yeah. updated to the new updates exactly it's kind of redundant yeah. but sure uh just go to discord like there's a huge conversation going on there with uh, older players new players like mid mid players <laughs> yeah exactly so join our discord uh community because you're gonna be well be well yeah. served in there guys talking about discord one of our moderators local gg is actually on the chat right now so Shout out to you and then to all our other moderators and our influencers that are helping us on the discord that's yes. really good to see um something that i wanted to remark as well is that uh there's a new influencer up or event coming pretty soon mm -hmm. so yes if you guys have been thinking about being a cabal online influencer or if you have any plans you know on start streaming or making videos right now is your time yes it's a, gonna be a good opportunity uh, if it's not posted yet it's going to be posted pretty soon, pretty soon so yeah, you guys have the news right here so um you guys can you know try it out and you guys see the requirements there's going to be more info on the website so yeah, just we're stay really excited to see who like who is coming to join the crew so just do a good a good job like <laughs> <laughs> just make sure that you put all your creativity out there exactly. because that's what we're going to be watching we want someone like that wants to engage with the community that are willing to share information and also like just be part of the conversation just be part of the community and just add to uh however they can yeah yes. add to the game as well yes. yeah yeah so that's pretty much it guys for the four swing and for our myth uis i'm just going to showcase one more time here so if nobody has saw yet just got to the stream you can check it out um and that's pretty much it for our sales and now moving on we have a new cool feature you guys are going to like brings a little bit of a gameplay um you guys can check it out. I'm gonna teleport here to our bloody eyes. And then I'm gonna show you guys a really cool part of this new update. Um, so right now we have this new cool arena. All right, 
it's called infinite ordeal okay this is kind of like the legend arena um but this counts as overall and not just by class and um it's kind of like a wave system it's kind of like the monsters respawn kind of like chaos arena legend arena monsters respawn and then you kill them and then if you can keep going you keep going you get some cool stats you get some negative stats there's a lot of stuff that you guys are going to see on the gameplay um for this there's a season there's an off season there's um there's a prize of coins that you're going to get and with these coins you can spend them in the exchange shop so stay tuned for that it's going to be really awesome I'm gonna hop in right now and then show you guys. That's the best way to see, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Let's just like let's just let you guys know that who's gonna be joining the the play the game right now. No, not right now. In not a little right bit. In a little bit. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, no, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm like I'm like a little bit far ahead. Yeah. So you guys can see this is the new um, Infinite Ordeal Lobby. Um, I'm competing here. GM Sky is competing with GM Omen. He also did a little bit of a score here. So we both did. Um, yeah, pretty much um, you have a registered character you have remaining time of the season You have the season top score you have your ranking and um, With these rankings gonna be really cool with every different season You're gonna get different titles and you can showcase them and you know Make fun of your friends be like hey, I beat you. I'm the number one you're number two So exactly you can just joke around, you know megaphone it be like hey guys I just you know number one infinite ordeal. Just be respectful, please <laughs> just in a funny way healthy yeah, way exactly um, and then you guys will also get some really cool special buffs for um, all the participants in the season. So if you participate, you're also going to get a good buff. So that's awesome. All right, so let's enter here. So pretty much when you enter, it's kind of like a dungeon, you know, a regular dungeon. So you're going to um, you're gonna challenge right here. All right, so we're going to start. What you're going to do is want to talk with this stone and move forward. And then it's going to teleport you to the ordeal. This is where it's going to start. All right. So pretty much right now, you just focus on killing the mobs and kind of just like leveling up. All right. Not leveling up, just skipping this part. And mine, guys, my character is really strong. You know, we're GMs. We got to test things. We got to showcase. So you guys are probably going to have a little bit of a hard time doing this. Um, it's very um, high level, but I trust you guys that you're going to try hard and you're going to pass. So one thing to keep in mind here, really cool, this new infinite ordeal. Um, wave dungeon type of system is that whenever you skip a wave let's say like whenever you clear a room you get these cool stats that help you because since it's hard you're gonna get some really nice stats and um, so you get is, the three of them no you get one of them oh, you have okay. to yeah you have to choose yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> no that'll be too easy you get yeah. three of them it'll be too easy okay. yeah so um, basically you're gonna choose one of them to kind of keep going so I'm gonna choose attack here and then you guys can see these are gonna be showcased on your left here um, whenever you move to the stage two as well. So we're gonna walk to the portal now. Teleport. I'm gonna keep going. So you guys see, it's basically just keep spawning, and then you beat them. Yeah, and then now you move to the next stage. That was um, so fast. Exactly. <laughs> so I know, Jim Sky is on a roll. So you move to the next stage, right? And then you're gonna choose one more. You're basically gonna be choosing every stage that you go. There's a little bit of a twist that I'll show you guys in a little bit. Yeah, so we're just gonna keep going here. Keep killing these guys. All right. I'm gonna showcase you guys. I'm just gonna kinda like power through it, use my GM skill here. So I can show you guys kinda like the end goal of this dungeon. So move to the next stage and the game makes me choose one more time. So I'm going to choose one more time. All right. You guys are asking about GM Luna. She's not in the area today. <laughs> <laughs> and also, thank you. G uh, I was going to say GM Mr. Warmy. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Warmy, for uh, answering the, the, the questions of the... The chat. The chat. Yeah, Thank it's you for really that. helpful. Yeah, yeah, thank you guys. If he's, you guys don't know, he's also our top influencer. Yeah, and he's the, been for a while. And the king of the spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. So thank you for everybody that's on the chat helping. Yeah. So pretty much here, guys, you want to just keep going. You know, you want to just keep um, passing through these, and you're gonna keep getting your stats and keep defeating the bosses. So move to the next stage. Choose another one. Boom. And basically you guys do this until you complete the ordeal 
or you guys fail basically so it's like you want to do in less time and a lot more damage and also you guys don't want to die because if you die it's over pretty much so you basically have like two minutes to finish each stage yeah exactly oh. so you have to clear these kind of quick that's gonna be a yeah. real challenge and that's the thing too you can't enter these with any friends or anything these this is like a kind of like a single player type of type of gameplay so you guys have to rely only on your self ability i would say <laughs> How many stages do we have available right now? Uh, this time, I believe there are 15 stages. Cool. So if you can clear them or you can, you know, choose one more stat right now. And then I'm just going to power through this so you guys kind of just got the idea. Pretty much every stage is unique, but they kind of repeat themselves too. But these also get harder and harder by the time. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And like I said, my stats are just accumulating right here on the left. So that's something really cool to see. And you guys are going to see a little bit of twist pretty soon here. Boom, boom, powering through this. Any good questions in the chat right now? Everybody just watching the gameplay. They're saying like many people get scammed by the idea of infinite because it's not really infinite. <laughs> but you guys are forgetting that. I mean, sure, there's a limit, uh, limit amount of numbers in there, but it's so hard that you guys aren't gonna power through like that. You're not gonna do the same yeah, way that GM guys. <laughs> yeah, we're just showcasing. You know, we have our GM skills and we have you know yeah. strong gear. But you guys are gonna have a little bit of a harder time passing through. This is really strong. So right now is the twist part. Yeah. You already got a bunch of stats, correct? Yeah now you're going to start getting negative stats yes so that's the thing you you go so once you're in a level like a harder level okay. you get negative stats so oh. yeah exactly so it's gotta, gonna get harder and then you're gonna get weaker oh, in a way so so you need to pick strategically ex exactly so yeah. you kind of you know you my attack rate see and then you just keep going that way so you guys are gonna have to manage you know those stats and what do you gain and what do you lose you're gonna power through these because we have a lot of stuff to show as well still so yeah, and I feel like if you get stuck in one of those levels, it's gonna kind of feel like infinite. You're gonna be like, damn, this exactly. is not, this doesn't, this doesn't, does that have, does this have a hand? Please, <laughs> I need to finish. Come on, come on, come on. It wasn't yeah. called the infinite ordeal for no reason, you know? Yeah. You guys are gonna, you're gonna understand that in the future. Um, so the entry for this, for this dungeon is not free. So this uh, dungeon entry, I forgot to showcase, but I have it right here. It's called the scroll over deal. And then you will buy this from the from the npc in tundra um just like you buy all the other dungeon entries you're gonna buy it from him okay that was a good really good question good point so yeah guys basically you just bloody wanna... eyes actually like, yeah bloody eyes bloody eyes sorry is that tundra, right? yeah <laughs> portuguese you know got a gm sky Port english not my first language so sometimes i get mixed up so bloody eyes not tundra <laughs> Yeah, guys, sometimes, you know, English is not first language, you get confused. It happens. There's a lot of Brazil stream, uh, English stream. So yeah. right now, we completed progress phase, stage 15. And once you complete it, you're done. It shows your final score and just shows your reward. So our reward here was six of the token of ordeal. And, you know, it's like, why would I want to do this? Well, for the rankings, for... Um, for fun of course but also for the token of ordeals you know um the new infinite shop it's the there's a new infinite shop basically you're going to trade these tokens for some really cool stuff do you think so, we can show them there right uh now? yeah should we yeah okay yeah if we have time, all right yeah so the way that you works is just kind of you talk to the npc as well the same one they used to open the ordeal lobby you open the infinite ordeal shop and then as you guys can see here there's different prices for different stuff um some remarks in this new shop are the luminous boxes you guys want to you know work on your stellar link um there's a chance um the karma rune exchange ticket box um with the new feature for the karma runes you guys can go check it out on the patch notes um that's going to be a really nice feature and um 
the command potion level three so you guys can op the, open those guild treasures more often it's something that was also needed in the game um so yeah i'm gonna buy a couple of these here so you, can, you guys can check it out Let's see karma rune boom then it consumes my coins and then to say I want to buy a command potion. That's okay. So, You're rich right now. I know. No, I have eight. That's like I have to. Yeah. Let's see. If we can compare the difficulty of this ordeal dungeon to any dungeon, what would it be? Um, right now it would be like the, the high level dungeons. The big, it's kind of like, it's like waves. Like it starts easy. Not easy, but it like starts moderate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the stats also help you guys, which is something really awesome to yeah. see like this if they, if it didn't give you guys the stats um it would be harder to complete but since the game gives you stats and like the deduction of those positive stats is not that you know much mm -hmm. greater than the actual positivity of it so you guys will be able to do some good damage it's hard but it's not impossible you know you guys will be able to, to get it done yeah so pretty much right now i'm gonna open this karma exchange room ticket boom i got two tickets so um, right now you guys are gonna be able to see that we have the new karma runes and um, Basically for you to get them you need to talk to the rune age of flesh right here rune Open the rune eyes. store exactly <laughs> and the way that you buy these runes is that you need these exchange tickets So you get these exchange tickets and then you'll be able to buy the runes and also to level them up So in order for you to level them up you need Let's see here rune store Let's say that I have a HP rune, right? Um, in order for me to buy them, I need 25 to buy one rune. And in order for me to upgrade, I need seven um, exchange tickets. And those will be obtained from the boxes from the or infinite ordeal. So that's something that's going to push you to do those. Exactly. Yeah. So right now, that's pretty much for the infinite ordeal. It's a really cool, you know, new wave dungeon system. There's rank. Um, there's titles. There's buffs there's you know a new shop and that's all going to contribute you know to the longevity of the game and it's really fun for you guys to just go check it out all right all right um right now one of our you have any good questions before we move on to our next topic no i think it was lucia she asked like oh can you guys give me like some force gems like lucia there's like sales going on right now on our website so go check it out there's like e-coin sales and force gem sales so just have fun in there um i we saw a question um right now there's no uh plan to change the world boss system uh with the player kill and stuff but it's something that we could you know definitely write it down and it can be talked about discussed but at this moment no it's a mechanic of the game it's you know all the things that contribute to like you know the difficulty of the game and just the competition in general all right we just wanted to answer that one. They're asking if there will be GM buffs throughout the day. After the update? I think so, yeah. That's something that we could do. Yeah, yeah definitely. Why not? Um, what material you need for open new stats wings? So for the stats of the wings, going back one more time, to open these for the buff skill, you need um, SS of wings, all right, for these three. And then for the training, you're gonna get points automatically based on the level of your wing so that's pretty much it for the wings all right um what's next all right so what's next it's like a really cool part a lot of people have been um waiting for Is the automata um, lab? yeah oh yeah. yeah our new dungeon automata lab that we're gonna teleport to right now Okay. So right He's now, oh, what, what popped up on the screen? <laughs> we have some, we have some friends here. We are going to do like an introduction, but like they're just there. <laughs> okay, who's gonna be joining you today, GM Sky? So today I have with me GM Steel, GM Omen, and GM Obsidian that you guys already met. So you, they're gonna be helping me out with this new dungeon. Um, this new dungeon, guys, it's really hard. Um, it's you know the monsters and everything; they do a good amount of damage. It's very high, like damage level dungeon and it's also you know for high level players so you guys want to get motivated you know to go do this because it's really awesome and you definitely yeah. need to team up for exactly that you guys are going to need to team up as many people as you want you can team up with just seven people in this and you guys are probably going to need the help so get together with your with your nation friends with your guild friends and you know kind of just power this through so yeah so for this dungeon what you need Oh, something also cool to point out. 
So for this new dungeon, what you need, it's this new entry, holographic map, okay? Um, this also can be obtained at the NPC shop in Bloody Ice, not Tundra this time. <laughs> and um, yeah, this, this entry can be obtained there. One really cool feature that is also coming with this update um, that we did not have before is whenever you start, whenever you go to the dungeon list, whenever you click on a dungeon, it showcases the entry item right now here on the right. So you guys will not be confused about any entries. It's going to be very clear and it's also animated. But that's something really cool to see. And another remark that I forgot to talk about um, is the new combat power that we have in Cabal. Now, both our attack and defense are combined and they're going to showcase differently right here on the top left. So you guys can see it's a little bit small, but you guys can get an idea. Now the combat power has been changed. All right. So let's go ahead and just get started with the new dungeon. All right. Boom, enter. All right. So whenever you guys enter the new dungeon, um, I'm going to party up and we're just going to challenge here. So you see that we are all in our party here. So basically, the start of this new dungeon, you just want to talk with our, our guy here and you want to ignore his warning and then that's going to set the dungeon on fire. All right. Hopefully my GMs are on point. They're going to help me out. All right, guys. Let's let's get it going. They're asking to see your gear. <laughs> oh, no gear today. No gear today. <laughs> the GM is, you know, we, we, we had some good gear on because we, like I said, our stats are a little bit changed, you know, because we need to test things and we need to showcase to you guys. So, yeah. So you guys already familiar with some of these bosses um, for Terminus Machina. So they're going to be showing up as here as well. It's a really cool theme, you know, with animals and with mechanical things. So, yeah, pretty much. Once you guys destroy this boss, I'm going to break our chest here. And we're just going to keep going. Keep going to this part. Oops. All right. We're going to teleport. Boom. Let's go. Once we do that, we're going to keep going. And we're just going to basically just power through our mobs here. My GMs are coming to help me. All right. So we just got to destroy. These are really cool. new addition. These tanks to the dungeon. Um, some really nice features. What are the comment section? Help me out, Phoenix. <laughs> no, no. I was just going to ask, like, uh, if that's the first time you guys are seeing any anything about the dungeon or the new update, any uh, footage about that, like, yeah. just let me know in the chat. Because yeah. we've been posting, like, on YouTube or on yep. Facebook on Instagram like we've been throwing like <laughs> a lot of videos and yep. content at you guys so, so I just want to know yeah so this is one of our first new bosses um, you guys can see it's a mixture of animals and a mixture of machines so some really cool you know new features and as I said it's these are really hard um, you guys are gonna need your party to you know help you out and you know just do some damage but I trust that you guys are gonna be able to do it all right, let's battle mode here. Kind of like wait for my team to get ready, make sure everybody's on the same page. Let's keep powering through it. That's the slowest total I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. Just saying. All right, so we're going to teleport one more time. And then now, we, you guys already know these as well. These have been out, so you guys can check it out. Just going to power through these as well. The GMs are doing a good amount of damage. That's pretty nice to see. <laughs> yeah, this new dungeon is pretty easy for us. I mean, we're just trying to showcase you guys, kind of like run as fast. This is one of our new bosses as well. Um, it's really awesome. It's a snake and it has some really cool features. Like I said, they're all mixed, you know, animals and they're mixed with uh, machine. Um, we also have these really cool new features for this dungeon. We have energy generators. Basically, they add up to the energy of the bosses and these missiles that they help them also. You know, So all these things do damage and they prevent damage. So it just makes the dungeon really hard. The GMs here are just powering through one more time so we can show you guys. Hello. So we're not here for like 10 hours either. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was just going to say hello to Akon, one of uh, Akon. Our streamers? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to have a, like a live stream for BR 
later today, <clears throat> live from Brazil. Now I mix Portuguese with the English. Sorry, yeah. guys. It's I just... hard for us. Tundra <laughs> and Bloody Eyes today. But yeah, you guys get the idea. And our new, our new, um, also another boss right here. You guys can see this one is a bull. Also, you know, bull with the, with the, with the machine. All the there's a really cool theme, you know, going for this dungeon. So it's really nice to see. They're saying that they they think they have more BRs uh, in the in the chat than. Come on, if you're you or an A, just give it a shout in the chat. Come on, I want to see you guys. Show the Brazilians that you guys are present and <laughs> like <laughs> you guys here with us. Yeah. So we also have the addition of these Tesla coils. So these are also uh, something that are going to power up the monsters, you know, their machines. So you guys want to destroy these. You want to destroy basically the mobs that are around the monster. And then, you know, after that, focus on the actual, actual monster. All right. So we defeated our next one right here, our next boss. So we're going to go up to the next one. Keep going. A nice dash fade like you guys like. All right. So in this new part, this is personally my favorite part um this is one of my favorite bosses it's a really cool boss and it's the part that has a lot of mobs in this in this dungeon um you see we have our laser turrets here that we have to destroy basically these are all new features that are applied you know and then now that we destroy these with our help of our gms we will be able to see the new boss but yeah see you guys won't be able to spawn the boss until you killed all of the missiles and that wasn't the boss yet so that was a little surprise for you guys so we're just gonna power through these here we have our help of our fellow gms helping us do some damage and just to let you guys know guys this gameplay is just a showcase it's not realistic of real damage of um how long the dungeon is actually gonna run for um you guys are gonna have to you know get help from your friends and really gear up get stronger with the new myth level with the new wing ui to get those stats going so yeah this is my new my this is the new boss right here as well and gigantis one of my favorite bosses um it's a really cool addition um animation and yeah it's awesome let's do some damage yeah so as you guys can see there's um barrier generators which you cannot um do damage to the boss if you don't you know finish these there's a lot of cool additions like the tesla coils they power up the boss they give them shield so you guys can see like there's a lot of stuff going into the screen and these do some crazy damage yeah so you guys are gonna have to have a lot of friends to help you out <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm just gonna have my fellow gms here and help me out with with the with the with the killing of this boss right here check it out should have like some challenge with them like and see <laughs> who's the fastest like the fastest team to finish like a dungeon like that it'll be like they will go crazy yeah this hard this this dungeon is pretty hard guys i'm not gonna lie um it's you know very high level it's a new addition to the game um we are just you know showing you guys because we want to show you everything and kind of get you guys ready for the update wait for everybody to respond here so yeah let's go ahead and just keep going you guys are gonna see another part of the dungeon here. Some really cool features. Type in the chat right now what's your favorite dungeon so far? If you guys um what's your favorite dungeon to do or just favorite um like looks wise or mechanics wise? I wanna see what what's the verdict here. Guys, the update FT3, that one's really nice. I like that one a lot. <laughs> the update is t tomorrow or may 17th whatever you prefer yeah so you guys see there's a lot of the bosses that were in terminus so you guys already some familiar with these um but these are not weak as well um they have a lot of strong stats so yep guard on the dust i like that one a lot too that one's really nice yeah so we pretty much killed this boss and then we're now gonna move forward Yeah, so it's like an elevator system. You just keep going up and up. And then now you guys also know these guys. These are very strong as well. So, And then whenever we, we finish these, we will, have, um, we will have a new boss come up that you guys are going to see. Some really nice features.
Oh yeah, see, so throughout the whole dungeon, we get these energy generators. We get these, um, we get these shields. So we have to destroy these as well to kind of like, you know, finish it up. So we have our another boss right here, a brand new boss. You guys can check it out. Move the camera around. Some his name's Arca. Some really cool features, you know. Also do some crazy damage, and it's gonna be a while to beat this one right here. Uh, as of this moment, we're not gonna be showing any stats or gear. We're just we're just showcasing you guys. You guys are sneaky. You're trying to get our our stuff. So yeah, you guys see there's also lasers. So there's gonna be some damage done. I don't have my my feature on you guys would see better but pretty much okay one more time and last time okay <laughs> guys the update will come we start tomorrow after the ma if it's tomorrow or the day after that would depends on your time zone okay official date may 17th 2023 got it got mm -hmm. it yes Hey guys, a uh, question about the next event as well. So the next event, we can't really tell you what it is, but you know, since this update's so awesome, we prepared something really nice for you guys. So you're definitely gonna enjoy that. So just stay tuned for that. It's coming pretty soon. All right, guys. So right now we also have a new, brand new boss. Um, this one is really awesome. Probably my second favorite. Um, you have a lot of cool lasers and you have a lot of cool features that this guy brings. Um, as you guys see, there's a theme in the dungeons, all animals with you know machines and yeah just a, a really awesome dungeon all right so now moving on we're gonna move and like i said all the the past parts in this it's all elevator system so it's kind of just keep going and then now guys we are in the last room okay this is where the final boss will be and this is where the best fight is going to be probably the hardest as well yeah so sure. you guys are gonna you guys are gonna enjoy this but also with high High risk come high rewards right you're For gonna sure. you're gonna you know see this guy so this kind of like a little bit of a spoiler is kind of like fd3 a little bit you know you kill you defeat this this boss and then you're gonna see an upgraded version so yeah it's kinda some, sick. I like yeah that. really awesome yeah yeah so our gms are gonna help here hopefully they're doing some damage man i'm not i'm just talking i'm not even doing any gameplay here for these guys yeah, so basically you're gonna kill this guy. That's easy. Yeah, but super easy. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, the dungeon is over, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like basically. And then boom. No, there's more stuff. Yeah. You guys already know these guys as well. So we're just gonna keep going. Boom boom. Pretty much with our help of our GMs here, we just ran through this pretty quick. And then now you guys are gonna see once we defeat these bosses, um, you guys are gonna see a little bit of a cool transformation, something really nice that's coming right after this. So right now, boom, this guy gets rebooted. Check it out. Boom, upgraded, even stronger. So Holy. yeah, I know <laughs> this guy is gonna be really hard to beat. You know, um, this is probably like the the mo the. I mean, of course, the last boss is gonna be the hardest one, but yeah. pretty much, yeah. So this really cool design, you know, you have the gorilla, you have the the mechanics, and it's just really awesome dungeon with these new features. You know, really going for a theme here. I really like this new dungeon. It's probably my favorite new dungeon. Yeah. Um, Definitely my favorite yeah. boss. What was sure. your favorite boss? The, the gorilla? One for sure. Yeah, mine is the T-Rex. I know, that uh, one is just so awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that um, one you can't beat, but yeah. Yeah, we have a couple of GM favorite bosses around. Scorpion, yeah. So. Yeah, I really like the, the blue. The I mean... If we're talking about GM Steel Scorpions is favorite, so yeah. If you're talking yeah. about design, I think this is one of the the six best ones. Yeah. If you're gonna talk about strength, it's also like the best yeah. one. There's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> there is nothing we can do about it. So that. as you guys can see, you know these energy generators pop up. Um, they basically um, give like health to the boss, so it doesn't get killed. And you also have the barrier shield. So basically, once you don't, if you don't defeat the shields. The boss is gonna keep healing, and that's where the dungeon gets really hard. And um, basically, you guys are gonna have to work together with your mates to see who's gonna kill the energy generators, who's gonna kill the shields. So yeah, basically, we got our drops here. We have a battery um, that you guys can go check it out on their patch notes what these do. But basically, I'm just gonna.
get it from everybody ha 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 exactly so we got our drops here and pretty much that's our uh new dungeon um we ran it through it pretty quick so you guys can see the whole thing um and yeah like once you guys have this update i'm sure that you guys are gonna have a lot of content to go through and you know gonna have a lot of fun so yep yeah, hope so yeah um hope you guys have a good i hope you guys had a good time it was really awesome to be yeah, here with you guys it was a really awesome stream um if you guys um basically want to go back and watch the stream see if you missed anything you know um and thank you again with the help of um omen obsidian and um jam steel here um we were able to power through this dungeon and to show you guys this awesome gameplay i didn't do much i was just talking basically and i was just letting them <laughs> do all the work the two th those two at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> exactly it's pretty complex information for you to just like yep. uh, your brain kind of like gets stuck <laughs> exactly it's normal. so yeah guys pretty much um we covered everything uh myth level wing um infinite ordeal and uh automata lab uh the new um war you guys are gonna have to uh stay tuned and wait until the update and you guys can fight it out and then you guys can see the new map all right um thank you for everybody that has been in the live uh we have 300 people on the live that's really awesome number that was awesome. um thank you guys for you know coming and talking to us it was really cool we're gonna try to do more lives um once the update comes maybe we're gonna do a dungeon run with the gms we're gonna do a couple things so we can you know be closer to you guys talk a little bit more but um for today that's pretty much it right yeah yeah thank you guys for having us and um be um be on a lookout on a, yeah. our social medias because we are interacting with you guys there daily so if you have any questions things that we can't answer we are definitely gonna answer we, we are there to listen to whatever you guys have to tell us and of course do whatever we can to help you guys have like a great experience so with that said yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you for the support and uh you guys have a great one we'll see you for the br stream at uh three o'clock our time 7 p.m brazilian time if you guys are from you know english-speaking countries you want to tune in just hop on and then yeah. we'll see you guys all right have a good one bye